don't know why this one ended up shutting off, but I got my rear end out. Putting this shit in for now. Let me show you what I'm All clean under here. All clean, boy. All right, we got a little bit of the greaser. We're gonna clean this bitch up. tool I had rented didn't work at all. Um, <clears throat> just ended up hammering that shit out. Um, so these are the old version. All cracked and worn. And this is, I don't know. I have this part number K6111. But even on the site, I didn't realize that. Well, I did, but I thought I was, just, I don't know, whatever. Um, one is bigger than the other. Um, it says for the rear, I don't know if they mean, no, it says rear upper. Unless the uppers have one side bigger than the other, that I don't know. But, um, this big one doesn't fit at all. And this, the smaller one, seems like it would fit. So, I don't know, I gotta go to the car store and see what's up with this. Um... <clears throat> Besides that, I stripped it down, all the grease. That spray is just on penetration. Uh, I'll soon get it ready for paint. Uh, today is the 22nd. By the end of the week, month, I will get my rear end back. So I have T minus about seven days to finish get, get, getting this painted and the bushing is on. Um, that's an update. today but um it is what it is and I'm here. Right back. Alright so primer coat is on. Um I think no I still gotta prime the cover but um I want to get over the bolts. I don't want to paint the bolts. I might just grab the cover of this. I don't know. Maybe just even only this part. I don't even know what I'll do anymore. But um that's what we have so far. It's not perfect. I'm not a painter. 
but this is the primer. I guess this worked out a lot better than um, on the ground how I wanted to do it earlier. Um, so shout out to one of my techs who advised me to just use the lift. So I was able to leave it stationary and I do the moving. I do. I never used primer before. I usually just paint over and go. This time I want to do it right. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Um, of course I could have did a lot better. Um, but it is what it is. I'm doing it just like that. Um, I'm gonna tape it up here. That is good paint. It won't be fine. It is what it is. Sue me if you don't like it. Um, I still gotta put primer. I don't know. So, like I said, um, if I took out the cover, I'm gonna have to drain it. Or if I just remove the bolts and if everything can stay intact, I'll cover the remaining outside of it and then just paint the case cover. But I don't know, we'll see. I gotta go, curfew. <laughs> All right, so that's my better for paint. I have covered the div cover. Time to spray. All right, all right, YouTube. I got my Yukon GM 8.5 390 gears in that bitch. 30 spine, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me. But, um, yeah, so I removed the diff cover and it's gonna be brown. Got tape under the letters. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> That's the brown the frame. So, this is how we have it. Perfect launch, diff cover. But many of the bolts I don't want to paint it. I want to whack. Like I'm not a fucking painter. I'm not a painter, but still. It's gonna look whack. Um, well, wood. Brakes. And then it's all lauded rotors. Finished product. So I have the correct 
or four or two. I did a little finessing. That's all I'll tell you. Um, next order of business is going to be for my brakes. The guy who cut my diff, sorry, my um, rear end, when he put it back together, he did a shit, sh shitty job and he didn't shim it properly. The other side is a lot worse. So, my job at some point is to shim it myself properly. Um, I have some shims around there. And go from there. But, um, so anyway, that's how I'm coming. So you gonna see me from the back. Fucking with it. I like it a lot. <laughs> 